Take a roundabout route to the Edinburgh Fringe to explore a couple of secluded Western Isles. Hi there. Hi. Am I, are you live? <laughs> yes. Welcome on board. Yeah, thank you. Tyree on the left and Cole are in the Inner Hebrides. Each is about 12 miles long and less than 3 miles wide. You may have heard of Tyree. It's a weather station included in the shipping forecasts. It has a year-round population of 650. Good morning, darling. Good morning.
Well, we're stranded on a Scottish island called Tyree. Stranded because the taxi service doesn't answer its telephone, doesn't answer emails. Uh, all the bikes on the island have been hired out. So we're reduced to Shanks Mayor. I'm trying to eat my crab sandwich for lunch and Judith is insisting on filming. Uh, but it's very quiet, very isolated. And maybe uh, a rescue helicopter will come along sometime soon. Well, the crab sandwiches were good. The sun has come out. The wind is unrelenting. We had a good snooze on the beach. And we heard from the taxi company who have agreed to at least get us off the island on Monday. And they're coming to take us to the ferry. So then we've got uh, three days of walking, lingering, snoozing, and totally relaxing. Jolly good. Uh, Elevens is. right. Squall hit us just about lunchtime. We managed to find shelter in this fish warehouse at the jetty in Milton. And Judith is eating her bacon and apricot sandwich taken from the breakfast table.
Our last day is wet. We've done the walks accessible from the hotel. The taxi doesn't answer the phone. What can we do? The last behind the bar, Sophie, says, Take my car. She doesn't know if either of us can drive or has a driving licence. She refuses money and we won't be insured. That's all right, says Sophie. She said it's an old, it's an old car. OK. It's a 2004 model, but it's the newest car Chuck has ever driven. But it was a... Um, automatic transmission. Autom automatic. Which he's not familiar with. And we went to the distillery. Which is for gin, but they've laid down whiskey for next year. There's a small cafe. And the guy spends a lot of his time... Inventing cocktails with whatever fruit comes in on the ferry that day. We had coffee, and then Chuck couldn't work out how to release the handbrake, even after reading the manual in the glove compartment. So... Um, in the end, we got out of the car, went back to the cafe. So Chuck could ask if anyone knew how to drive an automatic, and a kind lady taught him how to drive. And now we've got to the end of the island at Hinnish, a small port created to service the construction of Skerivor Lighthouse, about 12 miles out to the southwest in 1842. There is a signal tower they built to communicate with the workers out there. It is raining, but not pouring. This model was made by a former lighthouse keeper. The lighthouse was designed by Alan Stevenson, the father of Robert Louis Stevenson. It's 138 feet tall and was manned until 1994 when it was automated. Look how big the lamp is compared with the height of the man. The hotel's only neighbours are in three cemeteries. The Tyree Hotel is the cultural centre of the island. When we return, Sophie is off duty. The manager says, you can give the car keys to Sophie's boyfriend, he's in the pub. Half a dozen blokes of all ages are standing around the bar. Which one of you is Sophie's boyfriend? Six hands shoot up. When Callum finishes playing, another bloke picks up the accordion and carries on. I ask Callum, does everybody on the island play the accordion? Near enough, he says. We had a teacher at the school who taught us all how to play. Our taxi materializes. Morning. It's a bus.
There's the Tyree Hotel on the shoreline. Cole has only 150 residents, and apart from the village, there are no public facilities of any kind, and no public transport at all, not even a taxi bus that doesn't answer the phone. This is Cole. And apart from our hotel up there, it appears to be closed. Post office isn't open. Cafe is shut. So we'll have to go back to the hotel. Chuck has a bash at the glorious harbour view. <laughs> Judith shows how to do it properly. The menu is superb, with lots of fresh seafood. Chuck found the key to our room at the Tyree Hotel in his pocket. When he asks the lady behind the counter for a large envelope, she chastises him like a mother. How on earth could you forget something that big and heavy? You know it will have to go to Glasgow first and then back. No, the hotel has no e-bikes, but very fashionable helmets. Well, after a lot of very hard push biking, and I do mean push, we finally found the beach. It's well past time for lunch, so Judith is wasting no time. Made by Chuck at breakfast. Delicious. That's Barra right on the horizon, quite faint, but it's there. And this is South Uist, fading away to Benbecula and North Uist. And there's lots of local reefs. You got. Now, this is grass. What uh, produced that? It's scat. I presume. But, but, it, but it seems to be just made of vegetable matter. Yes. Very lightweight. Com compressed together, dry. 
Mm. Um, dry, well, it's been on the beach, I suppose, so above the tide line. The question is what produced it? It's whether it's... Uh, Fox? Uh, n- no, I think it's probably... Something that eats... I don't know. I'm not sure. The reward at the end of the trail. Ah, grand. And a reward for me too. <laughs> Cheers. Well done, darling. Super job. Talk about a room with a view. The bloke at reception offers to taxi us out in his car to start a walk and then collect us afterwards. And he does that for the next two days. Another fantastic sandy beach with Lovely. nobody on it. And the weather's much better today. Going to get warm. Yes. I promise you. Oh, this one there? That's a fish, isn't it? Is it? Okay. That's, uh, There's something here. I think that's a fish. Okay, come here. Have you got him? I've got him in my sights, yeah. You see it? There it goes. So I think that's what we want to go up. Ben Fail, all of 66 meters. Apparently a good view up there, we'll let you know. How's that for you, darling? You did. We got each other here. Time for lunch. We've climbed a 66 meter mountain. Not without effort. We found the sunshine and the most delightful view in the world. Fantastic. And in the distance, across the channel, is Tyree. So there's a castle, about which more we have to discover. That's the new one, the big square one. And where's the old one? This is the new castle, built 1750. It's like it's Bichacha. Castles, plural. And the reason it says castles is that there's another one there, which is the old castle, which uh, has been restored at least in part, and somebody's living there, built prior to 1750. And down there, those are the stables.
They call this island the Dutchman's Cap. I think that's the one. Certainly looks like a Dutchman's Cap. This is Gunnar Island, almost a tidal island. We think this is Calgary Point, a trade marker on the top of that rock in the center. We finally find a way, not over, but under the barbed wire fencing. Nearing the end of a seven mile walk. Huzzah! Leaving cold this morning, forecast full sun, as you can see. Hi, Judith. Our voyage takes us past Tobermory on the Isle of Mull to Oban. From Oban, we catch the train back to Glasgow and onwards to Edinburgh.
Daughter Sally has just been made a member of the prestigious Royal Photographic Society in Scotland. And two of her pictures are in a current exhibition. Here's one. Our friend, the artist, Fran Wilkinson Shaw, is having her own exhibition too. Is this your first exhibition? Have you had ones before? This is my tenth. Tenth? Fantastic. Yeah, well, over a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And did you use here before? Or no, no, this? no, no, this is just opened as a pleasure. No. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, you need the life experience. You used to live there. You found yourself. Yeah, yeah. It's been lingering. Yeah, there was just there. And she told me before you were straight. Do you saw people walking down? Because it does remind me of the Outer Hebrides, the remoteness and the feeling of the water and the sand and the lines, the horizontal ones. Yes, but you can I can see mountains there and sailboats and seashores, and clouds. I love that one. And, and, and this I like, and I liked it particularly when Fran got really? the light like and, and, and the gold shone. It glows, mm -hmm. it? glows, yes. Yeah. Fran joins us for our 25th wedding anniversary at our favourite Edinburgh restaurant, Wedgwood. Mike, daughter Sally's husband on the left, and Fran's husband Mark get acquainted. And Sally's here too, of course, for once relieved of photographic duties. And the shows go on. And on, and on.